Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve common problems you might be having with your Windows 7 sleep settings. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to head over and left click on the start button. And you want to type in device manager. And one of the best managers that comes up should say device manager. Left click on that. And now you want to go to where it says keyboards and click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. And there should be a keyboard listed here. First thing I'd recommend doing is right clicking on it and then left click on update driver software and then search automatically for updated driver software. Once you've done that, I'd recommend right clicking on it and then left click on properties. And now for some of you guys, there should be a tab listed up here that says power management. And you want to click on that tab and then there will be a couple options underneath there will be an option likely that will say allow this device to wake up the computer. You want to check mark inside of that box and then proceed to click on OK. And then you would just click on OK again to close out of this window. So again, that would be one option if you had that ability in your keyboard settings. And I'd also recommend doing the same thing for mice and other pointing devices down here. And in most cases, you should only have one pointing device down here. So you just would right click on it, click on update driver software, search automatically. And then once you've done that, you'd right click on it, select properties. And again, if you had the tab on the other one, you likely would have it on this one as well. And you would just go underneath the power management tab and then left click in the box to allow the device to wake up the computer. Again, since I'm in a virtual environment, it's kind of hard to demonstrate that, but it's fairly straightforward. Again, just click on the power management tab and then there will be an option that says allow this device to wake up the computer. You want to check mark inside of there and then left click on OK down here to save the change. So once you've done that and you're still having problems, I'd recommend opening up the start menu and type in power options. And underneath control panel there should be something that says power options. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. Whatever plan is currently selected, you want to left click on change plan settings. And now you want to select change advanced power settings. And you want to go down to where it says sleep. Expand this by clicking this little plus sign. And there should be something that says sleep after. Click inside this plus sign again. You want to make sure the setting is set to never here. So click inside this never. It might actually have a time in here. So for example, for you guys, it might say 60 minutes. So I accidentally closed out of there. But if we went back under sleep, sleep after, you can see some of you guys might actually have a time listed in here. You want to click inside of that and then set it to zero and then click out of it or hit enter to save the change and again if we go back in sleep after should say never and you also want to go down to where it says allow wake times and you might also have an additional option under here that says allow hybrid sleep you want to make sure that setting is turned to off so there should either be an on or off option you want to turn that off and then once you have done that, I would recommend clicking on OK and then close out of this window. I would recommend restarting your computer and then hopefully your problem has been resolved at this point. So again, I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.